creating this video to show you how to install Red5 on Windows. So the first thing to do is to go to red5.org, then click on releases in the left sidebar, and the latest release will be at the top. Right now that is 0.9.0 RC2. So I'll click on that link, and I'll click on the Windows link, and I'll click on the Save button, and I'll save the executable to my hard drive. The other way to do that is to go to osflash.org slash red5, scroll down to where it says Project Updates, Latest Release, and then it says please see the Google Code page for the latest release. I'll click on the Google link, and I'll scroll down to where it says Latest Official Release, and underneath Installers, the latest version will be at the top, and that is Red 5 0.9.0 RC2. So click on the Windows link, click on the Save button, and save the executable to my hard drive. Once I've saved the executable to my hard drive, I double click on it, then I click the Run button, then I'll click the Next button, then I'll click I Agree, and then I'm going to change the path where it installs to C Program File slash Red 5. I've removed the parentheses and the x86, and that will make it easier for me to type this path in later on when I'm typing it into a command prompt. Then I'll click the Next button, then I'll click Install, and then it says enter an IP address for your server and I'll type in 127.0.0.1 because I'm installing this locally then I'll click the OK button and it says enter a port number to use for HTTP requests and I'll type in 5080 and click OK now RED5 is installed and now I have to start the RED5 service so I go to my control panel and I click on Administrative Tools, and then I click on Services, and I scroll down and find the Red 5 service. There it is. Then I right click on that and click Start. Now that the Red 5 service has started, I can test it by going to a web browser and typing in HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 5080 and the Red 5 test page is working. Now I can test the demos by going to the directory where I installed Red 5, C Program Files, and I have to refresh that, and then Red 5, this is where I installed Red 5. Then I open up the Web Apps directory, and this is something that I didn't have to do in earlier versions of Red 5, but now I have to install the demos before I can run them. So I'll click in this installer directory, then I click in installer.swf then I find the demo that I want to run which is SO sample click on that and then click install then click OK then I'm going to go up a directory and then I'm going to go to the root directory and then demos and this is where all the demos are and I'm going to run the ballcontrol.swf so I'll double click on that and I'll double click again to open a second one and I'll put them side by side. And the first one I'll click on the Connect to Red 5 button and this light should turn green. And the second one I'll click on the Connect to Red 5 button and this should turn green. And then in either one, if I drag the Red 5 logo around, it will drag around in the other one as well. And this shows me that Red 5 is installed and working and that I can communicate between two flash files through Red 5. 